Good day everyone and welcome back. We've got a big box in the post today and it is the beehive and everything that uh, you need to start beekeeping. And it's from Donegal Bees and I'll put a link in the description if you live in Ireland you might be interested in ordering your own hive from them. This is the National Hive Kit uh, and it pretty much has everything you would need to start beekeeping. Um, except that you don't get the bees obviously and you don't get any feed for them but we'll go through what you do get and we will see uh, first impressions what's involved in it and uh, yeah let's just see what it is i'm very excited can't wait to get into it as this is the first step into uh, you know the beekeeping journey um, which i'm very excited about i've read all the books not all the books i've read some books and i've looked up buckets online and looked at all the videos so uh, yeah let, without further ado let's get into it and let's just let's just see what we have here and uh, we'll talk about what does what and I'll build the hive and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's all put together all right let's get going Okay, so this is our beehive, and I've only one super on it here, so it's finally put together. I didn't put the nails in it yet, so I'm going to have to be careful, as uh, to be perfectly honest, I can't find the hammer, so uh, I'm going to have to try to track that down. But you can see this kit, without the hammer, it does piece together nonetheless. So it's actually all being held together by just tight joints in the wood at the moment. Now you wouldn't put it out like this, as a push or so, a bad push. Could uh, collapse it all, so it doesn't have any nails in it um, just yet. But you can see, sturdy enough and holding itself together, which is uh, all you really want. And so I'm going to put the nails in later. So those of you who've never looked up anything about beekeeping, how does all this work? Why is there, why is there this, this, and this? And then why was there a second super? So this is the roof. I'll just take that off. And so this is the crown board. And so this is actually what keeps the bees in. You see there's two holes here. And this is the feeder. And I mentioned you feed the bees throughout the winter. And you feed them sugar syrup. And it's really just a 2 to 1 or a 1 to 1 uh, combination of water and sugar. And that will help them build their comb. And uh, maybe strengthen them be coming into winter. And uh, to survive the year. So underneath this crown board. We then have what's known as a super and this is where our honey is actually going to be this is where the bees are going to store their honey and hopefully we can get it and this here you can see is a foundation of wax but how do we stop ourselves getting eggs and everything into into our honey because the bees the bees lay eggs in the comb and their larvae well 
We'll take the super off. And this right here is the brood box. But on top of the brood box, there's our queen excluder. You can see that there. That's the queen excluder. And these holes here are big enough to let the workers through, but not big enough to let the queen through. And so when that sits on top of the brood box, the queen has to stay down here. So all down here, and you can see the frames are much bigger. This is where their eggs are going to lay. And they will store honey in the outermost frames, out here and back here. And in the center, it's where they're going to lay the majority of their eggs. And larvae are going to be produced here. My job is to get a nucleus, and that's just a small hive of bees pretty much. Put them in here and try to make them strong enough. So I won't be getting any honey this year, I won't be using the supers, I'll just be using this brood box really, and the feeder on top. So what I'm gonna be doing, I will just have the crown board on, on top, and with a feeder. And my job this year is to try to get that small hive into this hive and get, get that foam filled out, full of brood, full of maybe some stores to get them through the winter, and then coming into next spring, that's where I start, I strengthen them up again, and then when this honey flow or the nectar flow starts, I start adding supers as they need space. And hopefully, it all depends on the year, depends on how good the, uh, the nectar flow is, but that's hopefully next year I'm gonna have some honey out of this hive. So yeah, that's, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as I said, this, this pack here, Came from Donegal Bees. Pretty impressed how it can piece all together and you don't need the nails to hold it in so the measurements are on point there. And as I said I'm no expert but what I will be doing is I will be videoing all my adventures with my beekeeping. I'm going to keep a vlog off it pretty much. Um, all my progress, my ups, my downs, my successes, my fails and I'm pretty much going to just document everything and see what it is. So if you are a beekeeper please stick around, please follow me throw some uh, comments in the comment section, any advice, any tips, uh, hugely appreciate it if you can. And if you're learning like me, stick around, we'll, uh, we'll learn together and maybe you learn something of one of my mistakes and if you come across a mistake, drop it into the comments or if you come across a good success that you have, drop it in the comments and uh, we'll try to get some honey for next year, which is which would be great if I could get honey in the first in my first year beekeeping. Well, I'd be delighted. I'm not holding out for that. I just really want my bees to survive. And um, it is just getting a little bit late. I still have time to get these bees into this hive and to start building them up for next year. But if it takes much longer, there's a nucleus with a queen that's about to lay. And if she does start laying and she's a mated queen, then I can get her in here in the next week or so. If not, I might have to wait till spring and then we take these videos off from there. Um, but nonetheless, that is the plan. So yeah, please stick around, hit the subscribe subscription button and the little bell notification to know when I upload. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. As I said, I'm not an expert by any means, uh, I've just done my own research and stuff, so ask away if I know the answer, um, you know, I'll certainly answer to you. So yeah, thank you for joining me everyone, uh, it's good to be back, and uh, we'll see you in the next one, bye bye.